Hello everybody, I'm Scout83, and this is just kind of a video where I'm just kind of wanting to um, kind of talk about what I'd like to see in the vanilla game. Um, and, you know, what I most want to see inside of the vanilla Space Engineers. And a lot of this stuff is already in mods, so um, then that's useful. Um, although some of them don't work as well, and I'll get to that. Um, but the, the, the stuff I most want to see inside of a van inside of vanilla Space Engineers. Alright, so uh, first I'm going to start off with the most important, in my opinion, and that's communication. Voice communication. I They have it in Medieval Engineers. I know it's I'm sure it's coming to Space Engineers, but I'd really like to see a um, voice communication, and that's why I've got this antenna here. It's just kind of like, you, you know, so that, and then, you know, local chat, you know, proximity chat, as well as um, a kind of um, radio communication where you actually have to use antennas, and it me means you have to engineer um, a communica communication network, which I think it's cool. Okay, now now you have to find a way to make everything. You might need to do satellites or um, towers, communication towers, you know, like cell towers, basically. And, you know, do all that to make it so that you can communicate freely with each other. And, um, you know, make it so that you have, like, faction chat and... Um, and, um, you know, open chat, and maybe you can send message from one ship to another, voice chat. And you can already do a bunch of that in text, which is actually very handy. Um, but I'd like to see some of that in with voice chat, because it would just make the game more immersive, I think. And then have communication problems. Um, like, if you get really on that edge of where, where that antenna can reach, start having it maybe get staticky or something. And then, of course, once they get out of that range, make it so that you no longer can communicate. Um, and I want to be—I would like to see them also put in the game the ability to disable global chat, um, because I feel like that's just something that would be kind of cool. Um, you know, it create a, it creates a bunch of communication problems, which creates a bunch of um, um, engineering problems and things that you have to. F fix you know okay well now I've got to go and build an antenna so that I can or you know a satellite network or communication network around a planet or something so that everyone can communicate um, and it also makes it interesting because if you're like a pirate or something you're gonna want to take out those communication points because you don't want people communicating um, because you don't want people to be able to hunt you down or anything like that. And um, so then you have to defend those communication points. So maybe you end up building them on stations or something that are well defended. Or, you know, there's a lot of interesting stuff that, especially if, uh, well, when they eventually get the game to a stable enough situation that um, the game can um, basically become more stable on online I think this game is gonna really shine once you get the servers going and I've never played on a server I don't know how it's like right now I've played multiplayer with two people and it's it's still kinda of buggy and um, I'll get to how buggy it is right now but but I really like that King keeps working on things alright now so I'm done with communication I'm gonna move over to docking I really they really need to put in some sort of airlock docking um, um, I'm drawing a blank on what term I'm looking for but um ah, hold on I'm using mods to show what um, docking clamps is what I'm looking for docking clamps I really want to see some sort of docking clamp system they've got like mods in there but they don't work very well because they use um, birch blocks and then sometimes they they change the status of the ship, and you obviously you can't make small ships work with big ships, um, and uh, it has a tendency of exploding in some situations. So that's really bad. Um, that's one of the reasons why docking cl clamps in the game are kind of um, they don't really work, but they're one of those things that's extremely essential, I think in in a space game like this because you need a way to be able to move ships to ship without having to actually step out into space and um, 
I just feel like they're really important. Um, and I'd like to see them somehow brought into the game to a functional level. Um, and I just love this design by uh, Dark... Uh, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Darth Biomech. A uh, Biomech? Yeah, Darth Biomech. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> but I love this design here. I love this thing. Um, I can't use it. I don't use it because it's not, not there. Although I've been thinking about using it for the... Because uh, you can still use the, tu the uh, tubes to walk across in different places. And the doors are awesome. Um, I just wish the clamps worked because that would make the game so awesome. Um, the other point and the reason why there's and the connector right next to it is um, connectors. I'd like to see something more slim and useful uh, like, like one like this that's airtight that you can just clamp on the outside. Um, partially just because I feel like the connectors are kind of a handicap right now. I mean, they're useful in certain situations, but I think you need another one. I'd like to see a slimmer one added to the game. Kind of like this um, this one by uh, DK. I think it's DK. I really should have written all of these names from the, these modders down, because um, I'm just embarrassing myself right now. But um, And also, with both of these, I would love to see something that I also think should be essential is both of these should have some sort of docking camera um, honestly because in real life things like these have anything that's you know a docking clamp or a, or well it, these are both essentially a docking clamp um, they have cameras on them so that you can dock with them so that you can easily you know and really I feel and there's a mod and I should look this up I didn't put this in this uh, this world but um there's a mod that adds docking cameras to connectors and it's a really good mod um one that i use a lot actually because it's something that really should be there and i feel like it it really needs to be there but um i think in both the docking clamps and connectors should both have cameras i just feel like that's uh that's something that would really really benefit the game if it was there because right now especially if you wanted to play in like first person um you really can't um dock with that with unless you have help from another person who's using voice by the way you have to use some sort of uh, exterior thing to really communicate you back into place so so um i, I would really like to see cameras just because um I just feel like it's needed. Um, the next one, this is actually Sectan. I think it's Sectan's um, compact jump drive. And um, the reason why I have this is here is because um, I feel there is a need for, and obviously for balancing purposes, needs to be scaled back, be like a lot less, like 1 12th um, as effective, maybe you can only go like one twelfth the distance or something as a na normal jump drive. But I feel like you need like a one by one or a one by two jump drive that's way less effective, but still a jump drive that you can put on there, and that would help with um, balancing because you have a, a jump drive that's not as effective as the others, and you want to make it so that if you were to take up the same amount of space, it would still be less effective. I feel like that would be a good way to. Um, balance it out because then you'd have a good reason to go with the jump drive the the big jump drive is because guess what if you go to the big jump drive um you get more distance i i feel like that is something that i really would like to see in the game i think is um something that's needed quite honestly for those uh because right now you have to make a huge ship to be able to travel around and i feel that's just uh, kind of imbalanced honestly um, and then actually, before I get to the ladder, let me jump into my character, and HUD. I would like to see a more compact HUD, um, something like, like this, actually, by, um, oh, DG. I was trying, I can't remember anybody's names right now. I really should have written all these down. But, you know, a more compact HUD, something like this, that you can walk around, and then make it so that you can hit a button and bring up, because I still feel like all of this data that, that, that pops up here is still needed. I'd like to see this stay, 
but I think it's something that should be minimized. You should be able to minimize and go do something simpler like this. If that makes sense. I feel like this is what sh this is what should be the default. Something like this. You know, you can walk around and then you hit a button to bring up a more detailed layout. Detailed HUD. I feel like that is the route I'd like to see happen. Because um, I just feel like that would be the most useful. And you know, you, you might still keep the, um, the uh, bar at the bottom. I feel like that should probably still be there. The bar on the bottom. And then, you know, maybe get rid of the things on the sides. Um, and then you, you basically just take the two pieces off the side and just run with the inside of this something similar. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, but I'd like to see something like this. And maybe with some warning lights, kind of like you'd see on a dash of a car, kind of like what he's got down here on the le lower left with the um, white indicators, kind of like warning lights on the bottom rather than all of this status. And then um, I feel like that would be something I'd like to see more. And you'd have something more like this, generally speaking, and I'd also like to see like some sort of re I like the restricted I do think if he if they were to kind of add this kind of effect around the edges it needs to be toggleable for those servers that don't want to have it but I really like the fact that you you have this edge and I also like the way this moves around I just really love this mod um, so anyway moving on from that I want to talk to you about my next thing that I feel the game really needs and that is ladders um, just feels kind of silly and I'm not sure exactly why it doesn't have ladders it might be something technical but I just feel like it really needs ladders because in compact ships ladders are very necessary and um, I just feel like you the, the game not having ladders is just kind of silly so I just feel like we need ladders and um, while I'm standing here looking at the character, let me bring up the next thing I'd like to see, and that is not just having this spacesuit, but actually having the ability to go without a spacesuit. Just have like a character with maybe just some sort of clothing, and then um, no jetpack. And, you know, so you can walk around on a planet without having all of this stuff, and then give you like maybe a, you know, like a speed boost so you move around quicker on the ground and maybe maybe some actions are maybe slightly faster maybe welding slightly faster grinding slightly faster mining slightly faster um, you know they, because it's easier to work without the suit on you can do things faster and that's kind of something I know it's a little thing but it's something I really would love to see in the vanilla game and I I think it would just be cool quite honestly all right, so then I'm going to move over to my next thing that I'd like to see, and that's decorative blocks. Because, let's face it, um, you just don't really get the feeling that the ship is really yours. It's really something um, livable until you have decorative items and like things like beds and seats and all the essentials. And you know, you know, I've got weight bars here. You know, I got bunk beds and stuff and you got you know piping um you know maybe plants and of course like some sort of entertainment like you know um pool tables and then of course shelving i feel like shelving is also something that's important on a ship is that you're gonna see like these little shelves and stuff and yeah, yeah you got the containers and stuff but also maybe some shelves that you can store things on and um this is all by Eccleston, Eccleston. I'm trying to remember. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but this is this is by the way my favorite, one of my favorite mods, um, just because it you it allows you to make. I forgot to turn off meteor storms. Hopefully, it doesn't completely destroy everything before I get done. Um, so anyway, um, it just adds so much to the game. And actually, before the storm hits, I want to just take a look at this because it is starting to hit. Um, I'd like to see like blades and stuff for for on when you're on the ground like helicopter blades and different kind of blades you can kind of move around and I'd like to see and I don't have it on here but I'd like to also see like the you know um, DG has the wing mod 
that allows you to create lift and stuff on planets. I'd like to see that, honestly, in the vanilla game as well, because I think it just adds so much. And um, hopefully I can finish this before I get completely destroyed here. But um, I just feel like it adds so much more interest. It makes it more interesting. Of course, this thing can't actually fly on the moon because there's no atmosphere. But um, I actually did start this at daytime. But um, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. Um, I tried to get it, all this built before night fell, and night fell anyway. And I, it's funny, as I moved to get to a better, more sunlit area, and by the time I got this all built, it was like, oh man, it's dark time, so I had to set up dark time, night time, so I had to set up all this other stuff. But um, anyway, um, my points with all of this is just that this that I'd like to see these these things really added into the game and um, you know showers drawers toilets just all these little decorative blocks that you take for granted but they're in real life and I feel like unless it's in the game you just don't really feel like you're building something that's functional even though these are not necessarily functional they're just decorative but um, this is all stuff you'd need in if you were actually living and I feel like um, the game would greatly benefit I'd also like to see hunger and stuff but I think these are really my top my top things that I'd like to see in the game that's interesting that's interesting it's stopping when I get further away I'm getting very distracted by this look at that stops goes stops goes stops but anyway, um, well, anyway, that's those are my thoughts on things I'd like to see in the game, in the vanilla game. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Please feel free to comment and maybe discuss things if and for over anybody who watches this. I know I don't have that many people who watch my channel for the Space Engineers. But um, these are just my thoughts and, you know, I, let me know what you think. Um, it's just, I, I just really think these are really essentials. Um, before they get done. And then, of course, actually, I have one thing I forgot was bug fixes. Um, obviously, the game is pretty buggy right now. Um, they've done amazing stuff with this. I think this gets under underestimated. When I first started, get, started this game, and this is, by the way, my favorite game right now, and to be honest, this is one of those games that I've probably been waiting for ever since I started playing games. This is something that I've wanted and to be able to w jump in a spaceship go down to a planet and um then just step out of the out of ship you know it seems like something so simple but it's something that's always been kind of out of reach and and on top of that in space engineers you can build your own devices you can build your own ships it's it's really really pretty darn cool um but um with the with when they first started of course, you go near a big asteroid, and it would lag like crazy. Now they got planets, and it actually doesn't... I mean, it lags. And if you're on a lower um, end machine, it does lag quite a bit, from what I gather. But, um... You know, they've gone so far, so so many things, but they really need to, I think, concentrate on getting the multiplayer stable, and then getting the game stable, and trying to fix a lot of bugs. Um, because until they start fixing bugs, um, and I think part of this is I think the community has been kind of spoiled because they they've always kind of put put out you know stuff features. It's like okay, well this week we're gonna give you jump drives, and then the next week we're gonna give you uh, um, you know some other big feature, like um, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank on features right now, but. You know, and I feel like a lot of times when them just giving features every week, I think they really need to do another stabilization period. And I feel like a part of that is also when I when they're doing stabilization periods, you hear a lot of players going, "Well, uh, this game is dead. They're not updating anymore." Well, it's going to take a lot of time to stabilize a, a game of this size, especially with as many bugs as it has. And every time they fix a bug, they're probably going to create a new one, and it's going to take a long time to fix everything. But, um, 
I, th I really love this game. I think it has ridiculous amounts of potential. I think it's just, just really, I love there's, it's, it, it's kind of, it's simple mechanics at the same time as it's complicated mechanics. And it's just this really interesting dynamic. And it sounds so, so weird to say it that way. But it's really a lot of ways that's the way it is. And um, I just think it's awesome. But um, anyway, I've rambled on enough. So as I said, was, was exiting earlier, um, feel free to comment. Um, and thank you for watching.